Hello, it's Megan with Redhead Fashion. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a clothing haul of all the things I bought for my Europe trip that's coming up really soon. I'm gonna be there all of May basically, so it's kind of a mix of spring and summer vibes because I think there's definitely gonna be days where it's rainy and like 50 degrees, but I think there also is gonna be days that are like 70, 75. By the way, all links will be in the description. I'm going to start off with dresses because I think these will be really cute when we're going to visit like a castle to feel very fairy tale like or for dinners if we like have a chance to go back to change. This first dress I got was from Target. It is a maxi and it's slightly mermaid like. It kind of flares just a little bit. Here is another maxi dress. It is the cutest little floral pattern. It has little ties. The last little dress I got, again, a maxi. I just think that's so elegant and pretty to have a long dress and also if i was wearing it during the day i would want to make sure my knees were covered because i have cardigans and stuff to go over my shoulders but i want my knees covered just in case we're going to churches or anything like that but another really pretty floral pattern moving on to tops this brown tee from target striped little tee from amazon thrifted this adorable polka dot Zara blouse. I also thrifted this Madewell striped little shirt. I don't know if you've ever seen this on like Instagram or anything, but this is from Classy Network. It has uh, built-in bras in all their tops. So I got this little tank. Moving on to cardigans. I'm always cold, so I know I will be cold if it's below 75, <laughs> and especially in the mornings and the nights. Um, and also just if I ever needed to cover up, I wanted easy things, so I got cardigans for this. Got this adorable striped cardigan. I just think this is so timeless and classy. I got this two-way zipper little black cardigan this adorable burnt orange caramel color cardigan from Amazon and this white cream slightly more relaxed fit cardigan also from Amazon. For pants I'm going to bring jeans that I've already had and I also got these trouser kind of ankle pants from Target. They have a nice stretch so they're super comfy I think these can be easily dressed up or down just due to the pleating and the trouser style of them. I got a pair of wide leg cream color trousers from Amazon. The wide leg is a bit more trendy, but I feel like this color with any outfit is really classy and I like that look. It's very European. For jackets, I did get this wool blend bomber style jacket. For those colder nights or a day that it's randomly 50 but not raining, um, I definitely want to use this. I got this from Lulu's. We will definitely get some rain. So I got this trench. So freaking cute. And I made sure it came with the hood because why would I get a waterproof jacket and then like my head and hair be soaking wet? It doesn't make any sense to me. I think this is perfect. Exactly what I was looking for. I think a trench makes any outfit just a little bit more elevated and I love it. For shoes, I feel like this is the most difficult thing because you want really comfortable shoes. You're walking so much and on cobblestone streets, but you also don't want to like make all your outfits automatically super casual if you're wearing a sneaker. So I wanted to go with obviously neutral colors that will go with all my outfits. So first I got these little slip on they're they're from bobs i don't know i found them at dsw but i feel like these slight esperalda <laughs> vibe here makes them a little bit more summery and dressier with the mix of white tan and black i think these will go with most of everything and they have memory foam so they're super comfortable the only thing i've noticed as i've been working them in is it can rub the very top of my heel because this is kind of long. So I think I'm just going to put on a moleskin every morning just to prevent any blisters from ever starting. These are a little bit more casual, but they're Vans sneakers. And I feel like they're good kind of mix between a tennis shoe and a sneaker. Um, so they definitely are more casual. 
but obviously comfortable will be good for a lot of walking. A white sneaker is a staple for Europeans. Last, I wanted a pair of sandals for again with those dresses for going out to dinner or if it is a warm day. I got these from Target. They have the cutest little straps and they give me a slight gladiator vibe without going all the way up your leg, you know? So I really, really love these. And they have a little bit of cushion, which is surprising for Target shoes. Last is accessories. I love colors and patterns, and this isn't something you really see in Europe a lot. And also, when you're trying to build a slight capsule wardrobe for a longer trip, you can't just have all pattern tops because they're not gonna all go with everything. So my favorite way to add a little pop, add a little fun to outfits that are kind of simple is through like a neck scarf. So I got a few of these, this gorgeous floral one. I can either wear as a headband, around my neck. This polka dot one seems very, very classy. This more bandana style paisley print one. All of these I can either wear in my hair, around my neck, attach it to my purse just for that pop of pattern and fun. And last from ThreadUp, I got this genuine leather little crossbody purse. I think this will be perfect just to hold the essentials of the day-to-day. -day. Passport, phone, sunglasses, cute. It's a neutral, it'll go with basically everything I have. And something I noticed is that it low-key matches my hair. <laughs> so if I'm wearing an all like black and white outfit and I just I have this to match my hair, so I'm set. <laughs> that is everything for my haul for my Europe trip. I'm so excited. I'm going to Germany, Austria, and Czech. And like I said, I'll be there basically for the whole month of May. I hope this helped if you're packing for a Europe trip as well. And thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe. And I also have my Instagram linked as well. All the links to these things I shared, if they're still available, will be in the description.